Hi YouTube, thank you for tuning in to yet another video for Kiki Life of T. And we're going to be talking about pediatrician interview questions. It's very similar to my other video, um, parent, guardian, daycare provider interview questions. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, it's very similar to that, same concept. So um, I'll be telling you all the same questions that I asked my daughter's pediatrician. Um, I actually um, use these same questions to interview maybe like three pediatricians to make my decision at the time. So um, let's just get started and I'll just go ahead and tell you the questions. So number one, is there a sick side of the waiting room of the doctor's office? This is important because um, you don't want your child playing in the waiting room or being anywhere near another sick kid. Usually there's a well side and a sick side. So it's important that you find that out. So when you're coming in, you know where you need to sit, depending on if your child's sick or well. Number two, what are your views on vaccines? That's important because depending on your views, whether you decide to vaccinate your child or not, you just want to make sure the doctor um, supports your decision and things like that. Number three, how long have you been in practice? That's important because me personally, if you're only been in practice for a year, I don't want you to treat my child. I mean, let's just be honest. The experience and history just isn't there. Um, number four, do you have any subspecialties? For example, the doctor could have subspecialties in ADHD, ADD. That's important because if your child has that, then they can continue to see their primary doctor instead of having to seek out another doctor. So that's good to know. Number five, do you offer same day sick appointments? That's good because um, if your child's sick, you would rather your child see their doctor instead of having to go to urgent care or the emergency room. Number six, what should I do if my baby gets sick when the office is closed? You just want to know what the procedures are. For instance, my daughter's um, doctor's office, um, if I call, I would leave a voicemail and then the doctor will call me back. So that's typically how that works, no matter what time of day it is or night. Number seven, is this a solo or group practice? That's important because typically if it's a group practice and your child is sick or whatever the case may be, their partner will treat your child. Um, and that brings us to number eight, who covers for you in case of an emergency if, you're on call, if you aren't on call? That's important, like I said, because you want to know who's going to treat your child if the doctor isn't available, especially if there's a solo practice. You want to know that. Um, number nine, what hospitals are you affiliated with? That's important because you may prefer to go to the hospital that your child's doctor is affiliated with. So in the event you need to go to the hospital, their doctor can just come there if needed. Um, number 10, any, are there any out-of-pocket fees such as like forms that, that you may need the doctor to fill out? It's just good to know so you're just not getting an unexpected bill in the mail. Um, number 11, what insurance do you accept? Of course, that's important because if they don't accept the insurance you have, you can just cross them off the list, okay? Um, number 12, do you have a website? That's important because some doctor offices, um, they have like a patient online portal where you can see your past records, past visits. So that'd be good to refer back to. And like your kid, you can see their weight from past appointments and things like that. So that's good to know. Um, number 13, do you have children? That may be important to you, may not be. Um, number 14, what are your views on breastfeeding versus formula? Um, Let's say you prefer to just give your child formula and you do not want to breastfeed, but the doctor's hell-bent on you breastfeeding your child and pressuring you to do that, then you don't want you don't need that pressure. So you just choose another doctor, you know? So it's good to know what the doctor views are on certain things. Number 15, when will you meet my baby? At birth or the first checkup? Um, 16, can I get the vaccination schedule? so I can better plan for my appointments for my child. That's good to know, because for instance, my daughter, when I know she's gonna get a shot, um, I typically like to schedule that at the end of the day, just in case she runs a fever or gets irritable, because I don't want her to take her in the morning, then she go to school, her school calls me and says she's sick and has a temperature, then I have to leave work, 
and just be inconvenient. So it's just better just to plan ahead for that just in case. Um, number 17, ask for a business card. Just good to have, um, cause of course it's gonna have the doctor's name, the name of the clinic, the address, phone number, things like that. If there's a website, maybe listed on there. 18, what are the office hours? That's good to know, just so you know the time frame for appointments. Number 19, last but not least, what are your views on alternative medicine? That's good to know because let's say you're a parent who don't want to always push medicine on your kid or just give them medicine at every little ache and pain, you know? So that'd be good to know because some doctors are just pro-pro medicine. Just want to keep pushing that on you. Um, but that's the last question. And then after you ask these questions, you want to think to yourself, did the doctor answer all my questions? Were they willing to answer all my questions? Were they offended? Because you know they may be. Like, who are you coming in here to ask me these questions? But, you know, you need to know. Um, how was the staff? Was the office clean? Were they professional? How long did you wait for an appointment? I mean, to, to see the doctor, you want to know that. Um, and also, like I said, how long, like, if you call and schedule an appointment, how far out did they schedule the appointment? Because some clinics are very busy and you may not be able to see the doctor for like two, three months. And that's just ridiculous. And then you really have to plan ahead for that if that's the case. So, um, and also, last but not least, was the location convenient for you? You know, you may not want to drive far to see the doctor. Um, so that's pretty much it for all the questions and little afterthoughts. Um, but if you have any questions, please comment below. Let's talk about these questions. And, you know, maybe like any stories that you may have from your daughter's pediatrician that you just hated or disliked. And um, just like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.